to I know you'll you'll have your you, you work in a studio and you you know you'll have writers or other collaborators. Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Charlie State and Naga Manchetti. Our headlines today, Friday the 10th of February, our main story this morning, more than 20,000 people are now known to have been killed in Monday's earthquake in Turkey and Syria. But the United Nations has warned the full extent of the disaster is still unclear. Humanitarian aid is yet to reach many areas, especially in Syria. Survivors are having to shelter outside in freezing temperatures. Our correspondent, Howard Johnson, has more. Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Charlie State and Naga Manchetti. Time now is 8.30. It's bringing you up to date with the situation in Turkey uh, this morning. There's growing concern this morning for survivors of the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. More than 20,000 people are now believed to have died. And to help those affected. Now, one Turkish um, haulage firm in North London has been collecting donations to send to the worst affected areas. Fiona Landon is there for... Time now is 8.38, and Mike's with us on the sofa now for all... It's coming up to quarter to nine. Good morning. The film director, James Cameron, he's behind three of the four biggest grossing films of all time, the Avatar, two films, and the Titanic. What did we say earlier on? We said what the other... It's the, the Avengers Endgame is the, the other one. Is the other the one in that top yeah. four. So 25 years since Jack and Rosie's epic love story first appeared on the big screen. The blockbuster is being re-released in cinemas today. And James Cameron has given his only UK broadcast interview to our entertainment correspondent. Oh, I'm watching. So I'm watching Matt watching that. Yeah, Did quite. Bye bye. It's eight minutes to nine. Now tributes are being paid to one of the greatest songwriters of the 20th century, Bert Bacharach, who's died at the age of 94. Over the years, he worked with some of music's biggest stars, winning six Grammys, three Oscars during his seven-decade career. Have a listen. Caught us chatting there, so let's introduce you properly. 32 years after they first arrived on the music scene this summer, British pop band Blur will embark on a European tour, first for nearly a decade. Busy year for the band's drummer, Dave. Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. There's growing concern this morning for the survivors of the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. Let's take you through some of the details. 20,000 people now are believed to have died. The solo album Radio Songs is out now. Uh, that's it for us today. Of course, Breakfast back tomorrow at 6am. Time now for Morning Live. The protests when 12 clubs wanted to break away, including six English ones, and they then turned around because of all the protests and apologised, because then it was going to be a bit of a closed shop, wasn't it? An elite group that others... 80 clubs! But then there are people saying, hold on, it's the same wolf in disguise. So already it's got the debate going again. Yeah, it's fair to say, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So uh, it's a kind of reflection on all of...